without a doubt. Always happens. I'm a mess. <coughs> Ground time. We need. Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> oh my heavens, it's not even focused. <sighs> The fresh bit. There's a fly. Hello, welcome back to Mayday in the Kitchen. I'm Mayday and I'm super excited for today because although it is past its famous time frame, um, I am doing the TikTok pasta and there is some bit of a twist on it because I actually got this recipe from my old co-worker's husband, Ben Hunt, and he put it together and it looked so good that I just wanted to try it, see how it works, and believe it or not, this is actually my second time filming this because the first time I could not find the block of feta that you need. I got feta crumble, and I did some research and it said that it would still work. It doesn't work. Don't do feta crumble because they process it more or something like that, so it doesn't melt as easily, so don't do feta crumble. Although many of you have probably already done this, but... <laughs> I am going to try it again, technically for the first time, because the real first time it didn't work out. So yes, I want to say thank you, Ben, for giving me this recipe, and I am excited to share it with you all. So let's get cooking. If you guys like this video please be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as hit that bell notification so that you can get reminded every other beautiful Wednesday morning when I post new videos like this one also be sure to check out my Instagram behind the scenes I go to restaurants um, what else do I do you sometimes see things that I do throughout my day that doesn't refer to cooking or anything like that but yeah Go check it out and I can see you and you can see me other days besides on YouTube and on Wednesdays. So, yeah. Okay, here we go. We are going to get started. This recipe, super, super easy. Oh my gosh, I didn't turn on the oven. I'm going to go turn on the oven real quick and you want to be sure to preheat that to 325. So, hold on. Okay, I'm back. My oven is preheating at 325 and now, honestly... All I have to do is throw the ingredients in here, bake it while it's baking, cook my pasta, and then mix it all together. So it's a very easy, easy dish. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in the actual pan, just so the feta doesn't really stick to anything, as well as the other ingredients. I'm going to throw my tomatoes in. Whoa. <laughs> my other tomatoes. Oh my heavens, it's not even focused. <sighs> Sorry about that. Okay, and then I'm going to just take the tips of my asparagus and lay that in there. And then we're going to sprinkle, sprinkle, we're going to drizzle some more olive oil, olive oil. That way I can mix all the spices into it. So the spices that we need are, we're going to need some salt. We need pepper. Whoa. We need pepper. I think I'm out of pepper. We need pepper. Ground thyme. We need, whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> we need some ground thyme. We need some rosemary, but I don't like how mine are actually the leaves, so I'm actually gonna put it in a mortar and pestle and kind of smash it up some more. And then for a little heat, because we always like some heat in our pasta, we are going to put some red chili flakes. Ah, loose tomato. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up. Get all the spices on everything. And then I'm gonna create a hole <laughs> for my feta cheese. My hands are oily, I can't open this. Ow, feta. I'm doing two blocks of feta only because, uh, open. I'm... I'm doing two blocks of feta only because 
it's kind of a lot. I've got a lot of pasta that I'm going to be cooking and I don't know, I just felt like one might not be enough for how much I have right here. So that's why I chose two. If you guys um, don't want as much, you can always just do one. The last thing that I need is just some green onions. I'm gonna take the white ends of it. I think that's about good. So I'm just gonna take some green onions and also put it in there. Just for some more flavor. Flavor, flavor. I'll save this for like garnish on top after. And I'm done. Ah. <laughs> I am going to put this in the oven at 325 for 30 to 35 minutes, maybe 40. It just depends on the feta and if it's creamy enough, melty enough, squishy enough, you know. Um, but throw it in the oven and while that's happening, I'm just going to cook my pasta. So when I come back, I will have my cooked feta, my cooked pasta, and it will be time to just mix everything together. <sighs> okay, we're back. I am just going to now mix it up and hopefully, oh yeah, that, ah, the tomato lost, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, put an apron on because the tomatoes are splashing, oh this is working beautifully, yeah it did not look like this the last time I made it. <laughs> last thing, or second to last thing is to add some fresh basil. Here we have some fresh basil. And the pasta. Whoa. Do I want to add all of it? I don't know. That might be too much pasta. Mmm, <laughs> it smells delicious. I'm gonna add just a touch of pasta water. Ooh, just to make it a bit more creamier and let the feta kind of get into all the pasta. My arm hurts mixing it so much. Oh my. Yes. It's kind of a big plate. I need like medium sized plates. We are done. Oh my gosh. It looks so pretty. Okay. It looks amazing and I am ready to try it. Ooh. Mm. Mm! I love it with the tomato. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. The basil, that fresh basil, that's nice. Oh my gosh. So, this is my conclusion. <laughs> the feta cheese is very strong, although I do kind of like it, but I wish that the potency, I don't know how to say it, of the feta <laughs> was like turned down a few notches, but with the tomato, if you get like a nice juicy tomato with that bite, oh my goodness, that is good. So, oof. I'm gonna do one more. Give me a juicy tomato. Mm, too many tomatoes. Mm -hmm. This is good. The asparagus, I like to add more veggies, so the asparagus is really nice too. Wow. Well done. All right, I wanna thank Ben Hunt again for this recipe because it looked good on Facebook and it tastes good here. And I'm so glad that this time around, I did it right and it came out perfect. And yeah, amazing, good job. I encourage you guys to try it, although it is past its little fad and popularity on TikTok, but it is still a really easy dish to make and it is delicious, especially with those tomatoes. So if you haven't tried it yet, go try it now because mm, it's good. And make sure you have fresh basil because I feel like that dried basil won't cut it. The fresh basil really adds to it. The tomatoes add to it and oh, it's very good. Well, 
Thank you so much for joining me this week. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you can get reminded every other beautiful Wednesday morning when I post new videos like this one. And I will see you guys in two weeks. Bye.